In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. The sacred scripture Bible contains many and great revelations concerning our christian faith the bible tells us how god has continuously revealed himself by his salvific actions in the history of salvation bible also tells us how god has manifested himself by his creative actions creating works in the nature please first reading taken from the book of sirach tells us that god created everything by the power of his word let us thank god for the beautiful creation that god has created us and given us as a gift and in the gospel we hear that in jesus we have our life our healing and salvation as we gathered around this sacred altar let us come with great trust and confidence in this venerable jesus in whom we have life healing and salvation in the first reading we will hear that god knows the depths of our hearts he knows every thought of our mind as as he knows the depth of the ocean in the presence of such all knowing god yet merciful god let's examine our conscience and prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate these sacred mysteries in a worthy manner I confess to so almighty God, God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask bless Mary ever virgin all angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray, pray for me to, me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen, amen. lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray Grant us O Lord we pray that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the book of Sirach. I will now call to mind the works of the Lord, and I will declare what I have seen. By the words of the Lord, His works are done, and by His good pleasure, 
justice is done. The sun looks down on everything with its light, and the work of the Lord is full of his glory. The Lord has not enabled even his holy ones to recount all his marvelous works, which the Lord the Almighty has established, so that the universe may stand firm in his glory. He searches out the abyss and the heart and considers their wonders. For the Most High knows all that may be known, and he has seen the signs of the age. He declares what has been and what is to be, and he reveals the tracks of hidden things. No thought escapes him, and no, not one thing is hidden from him. He has ordained the splendor of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting and to everlasting. Nothing can be added or taken away, and he needs no one to be his counselor. How greatly to be desired are all his works, and how sparkling they are to see. All these things live and remain forever, for every need and all are obedient. All things are twofold, one opposite the other, and he has made nothing incomplete. One confirms the good things of the other, and who can have enough of seeing his glory? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the, By the word, word of, of the Lord, Lord the, the heavens, heavens were, were made. made. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-string lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new. Play skillfully with shouts of joy. Response. By, By the, the word, word of, of the, the Lord, Lord the, the heavens, heavens were made. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. Response. By, By the, the word, word of, of the Lord, Lord the, the heavens, heavens were made. made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their hosts. As in flasks, he collects the waves of the ocean. He stores up the depths of the sea. Response. By, By the, the word of the Lord, Lord the, heavens the heavens were made. made. Let all the earth fear the Lord. All who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be. He commanded. He stood in place. Response. By, By the, the word, word of, of the Lord, Lord the, the heavens, heavens were made. made. Please stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing his message loud and clear. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, as Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting, sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. 
and throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. It was a YouTube, YouTube video concerning the panoramic beauty of a village at the foothill of Alps Mountain. Brothers and sisters, you know that the Alpine Mountains are the highest and most beautiful mountain ranges in Europe, running through almost eight countries. And so this particular video was depicting the dazzling and exuberant beauty of that village in the cradle of the nature at the foothill of Alpine Mountains. And beneath that video, there was an excited comment. What was that comment? May Almighty God be praised for creating such beautiful land. Next to that comment, there was another comment almost responding, replying to that. Why should your Almighty create such a beautiful land and give to those people who have rejected God long back? Both the comments are very much thought-provoking. The first person was looking at God's creation by admiring, appreciating, enjoying God's beautiful creation. The person was able to touch the very creator God. The person was able to admire God's own beauty, God's splendor, God's power, God's wisdom, God's generosity. And the second comment, what was it telling? It was telling that there are many people who have received everything from God's hand, who enjoy everything that comes from God, but they do not want to do anything with God. Somewhere they stop at the physical or material reality. They are not able to transcend beyond the physical and to arrive at the metaphysical realities, the spiritual, the supernatural realities that is God himself at work in them, in his creation. Somewhere they are blindfolded. Brothers and sisters, we heard today a reading from the book of Sirach. Sirach belongs to wisdom literature category in the Bible. In the book of Sirach, there are 51 chapters. We are somewhere at 42nd chapter. And the author, author sets out to meditate and contemplate God's mighty work in the creation. He repeatedly tells, told us that God created everything by the power of his word. God has set order, God has set harmony in his creation, God knows everything. Brothers and sisters, unfortunately, every year, the natural disasters, the nature-related calamities are on the rise, increasing. I think we human beings collectively, we need to take responsibility for this disasters. Somewhere, Man need to sit together and reflect in, in what way we can restore the harmony in the nature, creation, which God has infused. And collectively, we need to cry out for God's mercy for the offenses we have rendered against Mother Earth, whatever may be. God has created everything beautiful. These days, we are confined to indoors because of the pandemic. Sometimes, it, it, if it interests you, just see some videos concerning Switzerland, Netherlands, the Alpine mountains of uh, Austria, Italy, and so on. Certainly, it will help us to admire God better. It will help us to understand certain sections of the Bible, the Psalms, the book of Job better, and it will bring us closer to God. 
God has created everything beautiful, dear brothers and sisters. But God does not find his delight, his happiness in the created things out there. God has no pleasure in the beautiful flowers, the lofty mountains, the gigantic oceans, the green valleys. No. The scripture tells us, Psalm 149, God finds his delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. You see, God finds his delight and happiness in me and in you. He sets the downtrodden free. This God not only finds his delight in me and you, his creation, his people, he is concerned with us. Look at the way Jesus reacted in today's gospel. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. Going to Jerusalem was not at all a pleasant thing for Jesus. Probably he was preoccupied with many things about this event. It's a busy road of Jericho. His disciples and multitude is surrounding him. But in spite of that, that din and the noise, Jesus, the incarnate Son of God, was sensitive enough to hear a helpless cry that came from a blind man, Bartimaeus. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Psalm 49 Psalm 94, we read, He who has planted the ears in us, can he not hear? He who has shaped our eyes, can he not see? Certainly, Jesus was sensitive enough to hear and see the helpless cry that came from Bartimaeus. He ordered the man to be brought to him. Probably he told his apostles, go and help him, because Jesus was compassionate. And when the blind man came, Jesus asked him a friendly dialogue, what do you want me to do for you? What a beautiful question. God is asking to a simple creature, what you want me to do for you? We individually need to allow this question that comes from Jesus to resonate within us, especially these days of heart hardships. As a family, as a church, as a humanity, we need to allow this question of Jesus resound within us who is asking us, what do you want me to do for you? Jesus knew, brothers and sisters, definitely what Bartimaeus wanted. In the first reading we heard, he knows the depth of the ocean, depth of our hearts. In spite of that, Jesus wanted the man to profess his faith. In humility, in faith, put forth his petition, his need in prayer for the greater glory of God. Brothers and sisters, within instantaneously the power of his word, the power of his divine power, Jesus restored him. To sight. He made him well. He liberated him. So, brothers and sisters, as we hear these two beautiful readings today, let us thank God for the beautiful physical eyes that God has given us to admire and enjoy God's creation, to enjoy life itself. Let us also thank God for the gift of inner eyes, inner sight that he has given us, the gift of Christian faith that should sustain us, that has sustained us till today. And like the blind man, with great trust and confidence, let's always come to Jesus running, bringing our miseries, our sin, our difficulties, our sickness, so that he may restore us to life. He may heal us, he may liberate us, he may do whatever it pleases him. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. 
Blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to Your name, and count our oblation as signs of our desire to serve You with devotion, we humbly ask of Your mercy that what You grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. Jesus stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by his loving and divine teaching, we now dare to say, our oh, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from all that is evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, in whom we have life, healing, and salvation. He is the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray nourished by your saving gifts we beseech your mercy o lord that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age you may make us partakers of life eternal through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you all the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace glorifying god by your life thanks, thanks be, be to, to god, god. Your name, your name